Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some cold case ice cream. I have the Flight Risk. And this one's the uh, Apple Pie Alibi. Apple Pie Alibi. Um, I ordered six of these uh, ice creams to review online. All six of them were $99, if that included shipping. Uh, they come to the front door in a big black box that says cold case on it. And uh, had a cooler inside. Had a cooler inside, had a big block of dry ice. And it told you, you know, don't Be touch this with bare it. hands. Yes. Uh, but they were absolutely frozen solid. They're $16.50 each. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to eat them right as you get them because they're too no. hot. No. Uh, you also got this shovel shaped spoon. Yes, which is so cute. It's pretty cool looking. It's yeah. Like, it's literally shaped like it's a shovel. In an evidence it's in an evidence bag. It's in an evidence bag. Yeah. <laughs> what I like about this um, is that you can pick whatever flavors you want to. Right. So, so I, you could double up on flavors if you want. You could. Oh yeah, you could pick whatever. And they have special. They have some uh, flavors right now that are just limited edition. I did not stick with limited edition flavors because I wasn't interested in some of them. Some of them didn't sound like like uh, if I'm paying sixteen fifty, I want to make sure it's flavors that right. You know, I'm giving it a good chance. So I picked things that I thought. We would enjoy yeah. so um do you want to open it or okay. okay this is what we're going to try so flat oh she wants me to read who wow i'm reading um it's vanilla ice cream layered with cookie butter chunks which sounds really good and cookie butter swirls covered in golden cinnamon cream mm. oh there are definitely chunks did you hit one did you hit a boulder yeah oh wow okay and these, um, I do have to say, um, this is a pretty new company. And I would like to say, I wish on their website they had a section that said about us. They don't, as of right now, us filming this. Because I like to know, how did they start up? Where did this come from? Was, you know, is this uh, two yeah. guys in their garage or you know yeah. what what is this uh, yeah. who are these people um so i had to actually uh go to the box that it was mailed in and the box said it was mailed from utah that that's all i can tell oh, you yeah. uh yeah I, that's i don't know anything about the people what they i don't know anything about them at all i wish i did so okay i'm gonna eat out of the container because I'll be the one eating it. Because this is our ice cream. That's why we're eating out of the container. <laughs> so people ask. That's why I'm saying that. Why don't you eat out of the container? Well, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be the one I had a that. comment the other day, um, just side note, that said something about us sharing out of the container. And I said, I just, I, usually I'm not snarky at all with comments, or I try not to be. I really try to hold my tongue. I said back to them, you realize we've made two children together, don't you? We, you know. <laughs> How do you think that happens? We are married. Yeah. We're not brother so, and sister. Yeah. I like the cookie butter. I'll tell you what, you better like cookie butter because that's a, that's a lot of cookie butter. I love cookie butter, so I like it. I have a hunk here that I have to... A big hunk of cookie, there's some in here too. The cookie has softened a little bit in the ice cream because so it's not really like a crunchy cookie. It's, it's like it's a Biscoff cookie on um, I don't know that it is. It just looks like one. Um, but it, it softened up a bit in the ice cream. Are there Biscoff knockoffs? I don't know. I don't I think mean, there are. You can have a cookie butter cookie. I know other pe people have cookie butter cookies. Um, I think Trader Joe's has a cookie butter cookie. Oh, they do. Yeah. They do. Okay. Okay. I like that. And there's also the cookie butter itself. It's not quite caramely, but it has almost a caramel texture. It's almost, it's very thick. You know, uh, I, I, like I am so impressed with this. Yeah, it's really, really good. They put a lot of stuff in it. You saw when I held it up. There's a lot of uh, cookie pieces. There's a lot of cookie butter. The ice cream itself is good and creamy. That's a nice ice cream. I love the difference in the texture. Mm -hmm. um, you get a grittiness um, from the cookie itself, mm -hmm. but... I'm so impressed with it because you, you know, it, it's supposed to have cookie butter and they didn't, they didn't skimp. They no. didn't use like minimal cookie butter in it. They actually use uh, big chunks of the cookie and 
it's so plentiful and you're not going to be able to get a bite without, without that without something yeah if, <laughs> if so for yeah, me yeah it would be hard pressed to get just a bite of just the eye just the, yeah. like the whatever the oh bottle and bottle. i could keep just eating and eating and eating it's wonderful mm -hmm. um i would give that five out of five yeah it's very gosh mm -hmm. really five good. out of five all day long i, I love that delicious we get it again in a heartbeat yeah, super sweet all right. Good. But like I said, you have to like cookie butter though. Of course you wouldn't be buying it if you didn't like cookie butter. Uh, these don't have calories on them either. Just pointing that out. Normally we tell you the calories. These are no calories. They're not on here. Calorie I'm free. sure that's uh, probably a thousand, a thousand or more. Uh, probably 1200 calories yeah. in there. But wonderful. Okay. Now you have to read this one. Which one is this? Apple? This one is apple pie alibi. Um, it's cinnamon base with chunks of brown sugar chunks of brown sugar of cooked honey crisp apples and chunks of buttered brown sugar crumble that is so cinnamon base brown sugar honey crisp apples and chunks of browned butter sugar that is crumble. copied and pasted directly from their website yeah it's so. just i think they got an extra of in there so if there is a typo it is not it's not a typo i think it's just a, an extra word an extra word Oh my goodness, look at that chunk. Is that a sugar, a brown sugar it's chunk? It's just a brown, chunks of brown sugar. They're not lying. Cooked honey crisp apples and chunks of buttered brown sugar crumble. And look at the apple, look at the apple. Yeah, look, like I've got a, apple here, I've got apple it's here. It's like a, a brown, the apple is kind of a brownish golden color. Oh yeah, that's apple pie apple. Oh, aren't you impressed? Mm -hmm. I'm so impressed. I think what they meant is the brown sugar is act, the apples are actually cooked in brown sugar, so they're sweet, and you get this crumble, which are huge hunks. This is fantastic. Yeah, look at this big. It hunk. really that's, is. That's just crumble, like you'd have on top of an apple pie, like a Dutch apple pie. The one of those brands of uh, we used to buy it all the time. It's a Dutch apple pie that has a crumble on top. Yeah, that's what that's like. Um, mm, that's good. I'm not even apple like a fanatic like Kevin, but I love a good apple. Five out of five. Mm. It's um. It's a different apple than you think though. It's not those, it's not a crisp, like fresh apple. It's more of a baked apple. Yes, that's what I was gonna tell you. It's very sweet. You don't get that crisp tartness. It's more of a sweet, deep, rich flavor. Yes, it is. It, it tastes like, it, it's the same texture. Uh, if you ever buy, this is gonna sound awful, but I'm just trying to get you to picture the texture. If you ever buy a can of peaches that's in the juice, they're, they're, yeah. they're soft you like that. They get that little bit of a chewy texture, but very soft. That's the texture of these apples. Mm -hmm. They're cooked. They're, they're cooked apples just like you would get in an apple pie. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the, the chunks, I love the chunks, the crumble, um, the crumble because um, gosh, it's so delicious. It's very, um, very, very crunchy. And there's, there's plenty of everything in there because I got every bite pretty much had a little piece of apple out. What I'm hoping is this is a startup company, the, the brand new. I hope they don't change anything. I know. That's what I'm. Well, if they keep their of. prices at what they're at, which is they're on 16, the higher end of ice cream, they're sixteen fifty each, ninety nine dollars for the the six pack. Yeah. I, I hope that's what I'm hoping for is that they don't change anything because yeah. so many times you get a company they want to put their best foot forward and they start out. And, and then they realize they can't keep it they, up. Then they can't keep it up because it's costing them something. And then they don't put as much in there or, you know, they skimp on something. Yeah. If they keep these just like they are, don't change a thing. These are phenomenal. Yeah, I'm so glad good. that I got these. Yeah. I'm not disappointed in the least. Mm -hmm. I'm very, very happy with and both you, of these. You can tell they're real ostrich because they're melting in the bowl. Oh, yes. I tell you what. Um, I, I just love them both, and I could eat both of these, and uh, I could eat a pint of that with no problem yeah. at all. My choice of the two would be the apple because I love apples, but both of them are equally good, honestly. It's just a, that's a personal taste bud preference. <laughs> 
I'm gonna surprise you. Is that the cookie book? I'm gonna pick the apple oh, too. Yeah. And it's that's really not good. like me, because yep. I don't buy apples and stuff like Kevin does. You know, Kevin's the apple eater. But I you like do, a good apple pie. I do love a good apple pie. And that's a good that's apple pie. That's what you pie. get. Yeah. yeah, this is apple um, pie. So, yeah, so we have four more of these flavors. I'm not gonna tell you which flavors we got, because I'm gonna surprise you. If you come back the next two days, uh, we're going to be reviewing two more uh, the next day and then two more after that. And uh, yeah, I, I hope that those impress us as much as these. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm They're really excited good. to try them. Uh, but we'll have a picture for you at the end. And thanks for watching.